Now that you've hopefully looked at the skip counting strategy for finding the least common multiple or the LCM, you are ready to move on to using the grid method to find the LCM. Once you've taken a look at both of these and you've given them a try, you can decide which one works best for you and you can pick the one that you'd like to use. So we're going to look and try to find the least common multiple for eight and 12. If you already know how to find the greatest common factor for eight and 12 using the grid method, this will be a piece of cake. So create your grid and enter your numbers, just like you did for the GCF, eight and 12. I am going to be looking for common factors of eight and 12. I know that a common factor is two, and that two times four is eight, and that two times six is 12. I see that four and eight share a factor of two. They're not yet relatively prime, so I'm going to pull two out. Two times two is four, and two times three is six. Now I take a look at my bottom row, and I notice that these numbers are relatively prime. That means that the only factor that they share are one, is one. So I'm ready now to find my least common multiple. I like to remember that least common multiple or LCM starts with an L, so I'm going to draw an L around the numbers on the outside and the bottom of my grid or my tic-tac-toe board. Now, I'm just going to multiply all these numbers to find what my LCM is. I know that two times two is four, and four times two is eight, and eight times three is 24. So, my least common multiple is 24. And that's how you find the least common multiple using the grid method.